Monday morning, welcome back. The Netflix documentary, Our Father, featuring former Indiana doctor Donald Klein, continues to be a top 10 film in the country. This morning, what the filmmakers got very wrong and why an Indiana family found me to set the record straight. It's been a while since Tanya Hughes and her cousin have visited New Crown Cemetery on the southeast side of Indianapolis. <sighs> Several family members are buried here, but the mission today was finding the grave of one very special child. She was just so young. She tried to cross the street by herself, um, and that's how the accident actually happened. It was a Saturday in August of 1963. Four-year-old Angela Golden ran into the street, chasing after her mom, who was on the way to the store. Extended family outside on the porch witnessed it all. Everything was just chaos, but that vision, I can remember that vision of all of us standing around and my grandfather sitting on the ground holding my sister in his arms. The scene captured in old newspaper clippings put away in a family album until the new Netflix documentary, Our Father, debuted. When family saw this news article featured in that film. Their address, 1009 West New York Street, where now IUPUI's track sits, the spot where Angela was killed by Dr. Donald Klein 59 years ago. In the film, Klein's former colleagues say it was the little girl's death that transformed the former fertility expert into a deeply religious man. Angela wasn't riding a tricycle the day she died. My sister was a, a, a sweet little girl. And like I said, if you're going to tell a story, just tell the truth. And most importantly, she wasn't white. Out of respect, Angela was... From what I've heard, she was just a fun-loving little girl, just going across the street and just give her her respect of who she was. Angela's life was short, but the joy she brought to her family led Tanya to name her own daughter after her older sister. Tragically, in 1994, her Angela, a sophomore basketball player at Ben Davis, was also killed in a car accident. She was 15. It's not something you ever get over. You know, you go through that pain constant. Two Angelas, two angels to the Golden family. Another reason why getting it right matters. Honoring the lives lived, honoring the lives lost. Like they say, the Lord works in mysterious ways. I appreciate you doing the story. And you know, my name's Angela, right? Yes, 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 ain't that something? So the Lord, does, the Lord does work in mysterious ways. That's right, absolutely. He used the Angela to get the truth out about Angela. The truth about Angela. The Golden family told me that Dr. Klein was distraught after hitting Angela and very remorseful. He also paid for Angela's funeral. The film's director and producer apologized for portraying her incorrectly. They told me they could not find a living relative, but they said they went to Angela's gravesite to pay their respects while they were filming here in Indiana. This is incredible, but you also mentioned that Dr. Klein did something else. He also paid for the dresses for uh, the, the sisters. Yeah, so um, the family was, they, they shared a photo of the funeral and Angela was buried in a beautiful dress right. with satin gloves and pretty shoes and he also purchased the same thing for um, the older sister too. Um, but yeah, just a, a story, it was amazing to have the family member say, Angela, I need you to, to respond to me. They got this wrong and, and we want our Angela to be portrayed correctly. Well, what's also interesting about this story, when the documentary aired on Netflix, we had someone here who actually noticed something 
a detail, a small detail, that the African American funeral home in the story. Yeah, they noticed. They said, "Hey, Angela, I, I don't. Do you th are you sure that that Angela was a white child?" Right. They said, "This funeral home. I know this funeral home, and at that time, it was a predominantly black funeral home. I just wonder if you could look into that." It wasn't two hours later that the family reached out to me right. just by coincidence, and I knew that I had to tell the story. And also, you. IMPD self. Mm. Yeah, right here, real quickly. You know, they keep their record. So almost 60 years ago, I, I reached out and said, Would you happen to have a police report or anything on that? And they spent up several days, but they were able to find the original police report. So uh, thank you to them as well for An helping get the facts. Another example of your incredible work thank you. of responding when, when people reach out to you. Truth. Well done. Matters. It does. Right. We'll be right back.